Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Software Basics. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to convert a page into a database in Notion. So what I'm actually going to do is just quickly demonstrate the scenario. The reason why is because I know this video may or may not be exactly what you're looking for in terms of how to convert a page into a database. So let's take this scenario here that I like to make instructional pages. So you can see I have two pages, one for how to make a pizza with some information and the other one for how to change a light bulb. Now, ideally speaking, because these are both how to's, I would like to make some sort of how to database, which will give me database functionality such as filtering, you know, and giving certain properties to each of your database items. I'm sure you already know exactly how that works out in Notion, but yeah, to simply achieve what we're looking for, all we have to do is make a database. So I'll just type in forward slash and full, and you can see we have a list full page. So this will give us a list database. I'll just go ahead and delete these, and I'll just call this how to's database. So now all we simply have to do is go back and drag our pages into that database. And if we go in, you can see our pages are here. And of course, the information remains the same on both pages. Now, the only unique difference is that they all have database features now, which is properties. So you can see I can add a property. I can, for example, give it a tag of food. And of course, I can do the same with the light bulb as well. And this will now allow me to filter by certain tags and of course other database features. Now, if this isn't what you're looking for and you want to revert, you can just simply drag it back into the left hand side column. And you can see our pages are back in there. Now, this is basically what I was trying to show in this video. Like I said, if it's not what you're looking for, do definitely leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you with an answer that will help you out. Anyway, I do plan on making more Notion videos in future, so I would like if you could leave some suggestions on what you'd like to see and any issues that you may be having with Notion at all. But yeah, if this video definitely helped you out, do make sure to leave a like and of course, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.